2023 has simultaneously been the worst and the best year of my entire life. As most of you guys know, my long-term relationship ended, but I've also traveled to so many parts of the world. I've been to Paris, New York, Prague. I have solo traveled for the first time. I am almost finishing my second bachelor's degree. I'm exploring single life and dating kind of Ugh. but due to all of the changes and definitely a decline in my mental health around summertime i am lacking in my goodreads goal i am way behind where i should be which is to say that reading should not really be measured based on the amount of books that you're reading but based on the quality of books that you're reading at least in my opinion however i thought that this would be such a fun reading challenge and video series that i could do on my channel, trying to challenge myself to read as many books as possible before 2024 comes around the corner and seeing whether I can reach my Goodreads goal before the end of the year. So you might be wondering, Sabine, how the hell are you gonna read 10 books within four weeks when you cannot even read three within a month? Um. <laughs> Good question. Let's discuss my plans on how I am gonna try to achieve this goal as well as possible, as good as possible. I think a lot of you guys know if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen my latest cozy reading vlog that I have been very much into crocheting. And until so far, whenever I crochet, I've always either watched YouTube videos or I rewatched the whole Hunger Games movie series because the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes came out. But I have never listened to audiobooks whilst crocheting, which I know a lot of people do. But I think that if I listen to romance audiobooks, I will be able to still follow the story. I can also kind of zone out, tune out of the book because not all of the information that is being presented to you is very necessary to stay like really well up to date with. I do also consistently go to the gym right now I know, who is she? You know, like the things that a breakup can do with you. <laughs> and usually I listen a lot to really high energy music, sometimes techno music as well, but maybe if I listen to an audiobook whilst going to the gym, I can reach my goal of reading 10 books within a month faster. My third way of listening more to an audiobook is by going on a walk in nature. Going on a mental health walk whilst listening to a good audiobook. Another thing in general is that I think I need to read a lot of diverse genres, also different kinds of formats of books. So for instance, Heartstopper Volume 5 is coming out at the beginning of December, probably in like four days, I think. And that is something that I can literally read within one to two hours. So that is a very quick way of adding a plus one to the 10 books that I have to read, but I don't wanna like just read graphic novels. Like that would be easy, but also a little too easy. I do still want this to be a challenge. On top of that, I love to read nonfiction books. And especially when there is an audiobook for it as well, I can listen to it whilst reading it, highlighting all the things that I find interesting, but it also kind of is like a podcast when you have that nonfiction book in an audio form. And like I said, diverse genres. So I'm gonna try to read, for instance, like a really exciting thriller or a new release that has had so many hype reviews that everyone is talking about it, which makes you feel really enthusiastic. And I'm thinking of continuing some series of mine that I'm really like looking forward to actually finishing them or that has just like really piqued my interests in the past couple of months. So I, was gonna say, let's go to my room, pick out the books that I kind of plan on reading and leaving some room as well for possible reading mood swings um, so that I can adapt my TBR to that as well. So let's go to my room. <laughs> oh, the lighting. <laughs> It is a little bit of a mess here. Also, all of my plants are here because they don't get any good lighting and I have a plant lamp. <laughs> so don't, don't mind the mess. Okay, so I'm very excited to show you guys what I've already started reading. So I'm actually, woo, <laughs> I'm okay. The table is okay, we're fine. The two books that I'm actually currently reading are Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the third and final book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. This is the super cute, fun, fluffy, hot romance novel that I'm also listening to on audiobook. I think I'm like even further than where I am right now, which is on page 89. It's been a long time since I've read that many pages and I love this really cute bed and breakfast, grumpy, 
grumpy romance like i don't even know like our main character she's gonna fall in love with the grumpy owner of the b, &B. like that's not a spoiler you just you just know with romance novels but they're just so fun and the non-fiction book that i picked up is conversations on love you know me going through my breakup and exploring like dating life so far it's confusing it's fun it's scary and i'm just like trying to learn a lot about the way that I look at love. And I love all the conversations that Natasha Lund is having with like all of these authors who kind of like specialize into different aspects of love and relationships. So until so far, I would highly recommend it to everyone. And then I have two sequels or continuations of series that I would absolutely love to pick up. So the first one is Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. If you've seen my fall TBR, you know that I was reading Ninth House and I really, really enjoyed it and a lot of people said like you have to kind of quickly get into hellbent because Lee Bardugo definitely expects you to still remember all of the things that have been discussed in ninth house and it's been like one to two months since i finished it um it is almost like 500 pages though so that is a lot but i downloaded the audiobook so hopefully that'll help me fly through it also let's just appreciate this freaking cover <gasps> so pretty. Ninth House is the first book in this series and it's about Alex Stern who has been invited to study at Yale and to participate in these like secret societies which not a lot of people are allowed to. Like she doesn't even have a diploma. She's very confused about why she is getting this offer and basically you just like follow her around on campus and she meets Darlington who is like very much into this whole secret society group. There's a murder mystery, dark magic, it's really nice. So looking forward to picking up this one. And also, I would love to read Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. I absolutely adore the Scythe trilogy. It's one of my favorite trilogies ever. It's like a dystopian sci-fi novel series, which is so good. And these are all short stories of, I believe, important Scythes. My camera died for a second. I just never read short stories, but I love this series so much that I am expecting I will absolutely adore it and will fly through it. I don't know, Neil Schusterman really got me with this series. Like he really grips your attention with just like the whole philosophy of this world and just the, the weird shit that happens. So I feel like I would be able to fly through this one. And like I said, I really wanna read Heartstopper, but that means that's just five books. Wait, no, I also had another book that I really wanted to pick up because I have seen so many of my booktube friends or people that I follow on Instagram picking this one up and absolutely raving about it and I just bought it. So good opportunity to read it. And that is Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. All I know is that it's like a haunted magical house and that's all that I need to know. And recently I've been reading a lot of those types of books where the house itself is kind of like a character too and there's just like lots of secrets and family history. That's all that I know about this book and that it's a new release and it has received so much hype. And apparently it's deserved <laughs> if I am to trust the people's opinion. <laughs> so I have kind of like six books sorted for this month. So let's see which four other titles I will be picking up in December as well trying to, fingers crossed. I am so excited to take you on this like challenge with me. I will be vlogging my experience. And then at the beginning of January, we will see and check in whether I made my Goodreads goal. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you are as excited about the challenge as I am. And let's see each other in the first reading challenge vlog. See you soon, bye.